Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are in Newcastle. Today, it's a little bit miserable, it's a little bit grey, but I'm here to brighten it. I'm here to brighten the day with, I think, a first for 2020 for me, and that is a, well, the largest Lush collab that I think has ever happened on YouTube. This is with seven other content creators. I'm going to link their videos down below, so after you watch this, you can go check them out and also subscribe to them. But we have set each other a little budget of £50 to spend on whatever we want from Lush and talk about it. So what I thought I would do is, because obviously I have already done like a Lush haul, which I'll leave down below, I thought I would do something a bit different, which was a Lush gift haul. So I set myself a little challenge to see how many gifts I could get for £50 and then I thought I would show you them all and unbox them as well. So I'm going to kind of put them here, spoiler alert, here's one, okay. So these are the gifts that I got for £50. So we've got a little mixture of everything. So I thought I would take you through them all. So if this sounds like a video that you would be interested in watching, you want to see what I got for £50, then stay tuned because we're literally about to dive in right now. I would start from the cheapest gift set and work my way up to the most expensive one on my list. There is lots of budget friendly gift sets for people and I know that especially with everything that's going on people are trying to get more bang for the buck and Lush has definitely thought about this. So the first one I've got here is the sweet Christmas gift set and it's only $9.50 and you get two products in there so this is quite good for a sweet tooth and I absolutely love the bright pink packaging. Now I don't know about any of you guys but I reuse the paper that all the stuff, I reuse the bows, I reuse, well should I say, I reuse the ribbons, I reuse the paper. The paper's really good for lining your underwear drawer with because A, it makes it really colourful, but it makes all your knickers and your socks smell really good. I do know people who, I'm just like unwrapping this as we speak, I do know people who use the paper to wrap their school books in, so it's quite a good one for that as well. So the paper's lovely and thick. I'm just gonna open this up here. I like to be really careful with this thick paper and I'm just gonna very very carefully open it up. All the paper that Lush use is recyclable as well as recycled and actually I can see on here I had some writing on here so I'm just gonna show you. That's it there. And it says now it's over to you reusing the packaging is always the best option but recycling is the next best thing. It smells really sweet. So this is sweet Christmas like I say, it's 9.50, it comes with an Angel's Delight bath bomb and a Snow Fairy bubble roll. So I'm just going to open it up here and show you what you get. So there's absolutely loads of eco flow in here. These are made from cornstarch. And then you've got a little product sheet as well so you can see all the ingredients. Oh my God, it smells so sweet and so strong. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God, I want to eat it. So we've got a little mini Snow Fairy bubble bar. Oh, and it smells like candy floss. I would personally only get one bath out of this, but if you like to make bath cocktails, you could definitely chop some of this up and get maybe two baths out of this if you're mixing with other things. I'm just greedy. I would probably just get one bath out of this, but it smells so strong. And then we've got, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> we've got the Angel's Delight bath bomb. So this has got a little moon on it. I've got a little bit of pink on there. It actually, I think this smells like Miranda soap. Miranda soap. I don't, anybody who has tried the Angels of Light soap from way gone past, is that the same smell as Miranda? It smells really bloody good. And then we've got Secret Santa. I love this one. I am obsessed with just brown paper because it reminds me of getting parcels. So I remember like one year, my mom just wrapped all my presents up either for my birthday or for Christmas in brown paper and I absolutely loved it and I love this red and white ribbon it's quite cute I suppose if you are doing a secret Santa at work but it's called secret Santa and it's only 10 pounds as well I'm gonna open this up oh this one smells a bit more sherbet -y. oh I ripped that one I wanted to keep the paper because I've not bought any wrapping paper this year so because I'm lazy. I think I've got some upstairs in the, in the loft, but I might just reuse this paper. Okay. I don't know why I'm just 
still smell as paper when I've got a box full of lovely stuff. So this one here, Secret Santa, it has the candy cane bubble bar and the rainbow snowman, or snowman dreaming, should I say. So again, the info leaflet and lots of packing peanuts. And we've got, wow, the candy cane reusable bubble bar. This one smells really strong and it's super lemony, which is not what you would imagine when you think of a candy cane, you'd always think minty, but it's lemony. And I would get two to three baths out of this one. And with this one, you hold it under the tap to get your bubbles over crumbling it like the snow fairy one. And then we've got the snowman dreaming bath bomb. And it smells super relaxing. It smells, because I haven't been at work for so long. I've been off for a week. Like this smells really strong. Where's the info sheet? So this one is cedar wood and lavender. So it's not like a traditional kind of granny lavender. It's absolutely lovely. And he's small but very mighty. He does create amazing bath art in the water because they've definitely upgraded the colours this year. He's, he packs more of a punch on that colourful front. But my god. That smells really good. That would be nice as a perfume, I think. Now, something that I was really excited about to try is the Not Wrap Gifts with the soap in. So this one is the Stargazing Soap Stack. And they have two other ones. They have Festive As, which is £15. And they also have the Sleepy Stack, which is 13 I think, as well. But this one, I think, was for the Sleepy one, was my favourite one to go for. I like citrusy soaps. I like citrusy smells. And I was really interested in seeing how big this wrap is so this one instead of having like a normal ribbon has twine on it this is different from a normal knot wrap it has a free edge oh my god i can't get in okay i'm in i'm in i'm in yeah so that's it there i'm gonna take it off and then let's look at the knot wrap first this is wow this is a lot longer Ooh. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh my god, that smells lovely. So this is what it looks like. It's super long. It must be about three foot long, maybe. Am I am I bad at this? But in bright pink stars, blue and pink circles. It's really pretty. And what you can use this for washing your face with, drying your hands with, and because it's got a free edge, it's supposed to dry quicker. There's nothing stopping you from tying this in your hair. Oh, should I tie my hair? Yeah. I've got it in my hair. It definitely, they've got like a little tag there which I might trim off. But it's really, really cute. It's, I like it, it's really lush. So that is the little Tenguri Knot Wrap. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ten, tenugui, ten, tenugi. So you get a, a knot wrap. So it says, a tenugi is a thin Japanese towel made from 100% organic cotton and used in multiple ways. Carry with you for your hand washing routine. Or if you may, just tie it in your hair. So the soaps come in a lovely sleek box. Was not expecting that. I was just kind of expecting them to be naked. Okay, how do I open this? Okay. So the first one that comes out, ooh, is, oh God, just dropped something on the floor. The Shooting Stars Soap. Look at that biodegradable glitter glow. And this one is super effervescent. It's like sherbet dip. It's really fresh. It's citrusy, but like a light citrus. And then if I slide up the other one, we've got a very popular soap for Christmas. And we've got baked Alaska. And this is like sherbet lemons. It's really fresh. It's really zesty. And it's dead bright and colourful. So this one's like an ombre blue to green with a little bit of yellow. And you've got a little bit of snow on the top as well. I really love this one. I do miss the old preformed pieces. I love that. Right, I'm going to pop that there. You go there. I'm dying to pop some new soap in my soap dish. Because I've got a very sad golden pair in there. From 2018, I think. So I'm just using that up. And then the last thing I've got. This one here, Dreaming of Christmas, is a shower gift set. And it's quite a luxurious one and I got this one because it has an exclusive in it and I thought you might want to see the exclusive item in there but also it's purple and purple is my favorite color and it's called Dreaming of Christmas and this is £17.50 and it has three items in here 
So I wanna try and open this up. Now I know with the metallic ribbons, they are a little bit trickier to open. And again, I like to keep my ribbons. I like to reuse them. They're very handy to have. Just gotta find a way to get into it. Don't like cutting it. There we go. So that is the lovely gold ribbon. I love all the ribbons that Lush do. And then you've got the beautiful purple cloudy box. And you've got three things in here. Quite a pampering little set, this one. Oh, oh, I've got to rip the paper on this one. Damn. I was too excited. We've got a little bit of dust on there, which I know exactly what that is. I'm just going to rip it off though. I hope it's okay. Please be okay. Again, white box, lots of eco flow. I'm just going to put these out on here. Aha. So the first thing I'm going to show you, and I'm going to take out the little slip as well. Oh, because that's the only naked product. Yes, that's another thing as well. Duh. They only put the slip in if it's a naked product so you can see all the ingredients because obviously if it was potted you would see it but the, the one that I was going to show you and the reason why I bought it was for this exclusive here and this is oh my god validation shower bomb I'm going to slip out oh, and this is the same smell as creme anglaise I mean it's a beautiful smell it's got like almost like a saffron creme brulee smell golden cap a solid conditioner bar, it's the same smell. It's lovely, it's got myrrh resonoid in there and vanilla absolute. It smells really, really good. What I'll do is, I'll leave a link down below to the anniversary subscription box where I go into more detail about the smell of this, but it smells really good. If you like kind of bougie smells, this is it. And I'm nice and sparkly now. Mm, I'm gonna put a little bit on me. <laughs> then we've got a bottle of the new formulated Yog Nog shower gel. This is a 100 gram bottle. So this is a slightly different formula to last year's Yog Nog, and I'm gonna show you why. Can you see that? Ooh. Ooh. It's like super, th oh, oh. Um, so this is a slightly different formula to last year's. Last year's was an SLS formula, and this year it is a sodium cocoa mosphosate. I'm totally saying that wrong. Pretty much there's no SLS in it. So it's a slightly more gelatinous whipped feeling. And I actually much prefer this style of gel over the original gel. It just feels nicer on the skin. It just feels nicer. So this is much nicer than last year. So I pretty much am like halfway through last year's little mini bottle. So I'm gonna use it up and I've got another one to take me into the new year. And then last but not least, oh, yes, we Last but not least, oh, only happens to me. Last but not least, we have a 50 gram pot of Sleepy Body Lotion. That's it there. And this is a blend of lavender and tonka. It's really moisturizing and it's fantastic for anybody that has sensitive skin, who is having trouble sleeping. It's amazing. And I also forgot to say that this one, if you've not smelt this and you've not heard me describe it before in my shower gel collection, it is a maple syrup and clove bud oil scented product so it smells like really warm wintry sweet caramel it's divine it's absolutely heavenly it's so so yummy but yes that is everything from my haul i'm going to the first thing i'm going to use is, is that angels of light and snow fairy because they smell so strong they smell amazing the snow fairy bubbling bar this year has been top notch chef kiss but yes, thank you very much for watching. What was your favourite thing from the haul? Okay, I think the favourite thing from a haul is a, it's either going to be a toss up between the Stargaze and the Silver Sack or the Sweetest Thing little gift set because I think for 9 50 it's quite a cute little gift set, like a nice little stock and filler. But I like the fact that you get a really long washcloth and two bars of soap because, you know, everyone needs a bit of soap with everything that's going on right now, don't they? So yes, thank you very much for watching and if you like this video, you can give it a little thumbs up and if you really liked it, you can subscribe. We are on our way to 1500. That is my next goal stone? Goal, goal, goal mark? M milestone. Oh my God, it's my next milestone. So yes, if you liked it, subscribe, come join us. I talk about Lush all the time. So if you like Lush, it's here. If you like makeup, I do makeup tutorials, unboxings, everything like that. So come and join me and everybody else who is with me and you can also follow me on Instagram at Sarah James WA. I am so terrible at self-promotion. Um, but yes, I will see you in the next video. 
and don't forget to check out everybody else who's joined in we've got some amazing people down below so go give them a little like go give them a subscribe and go watch all their amazing videos and yes i will definitely see you in the next video bye